When used together, Windows Small Business Server 2011 Standard and Windows 7 Professional provide a range of tools and technologies that help you get more done, safeguard your work, and gain more IT control and flexibility. In this video, we'll look at how to work from virtually anywhere you have an internet connection using the remote access features in Windows 7 and SPS 2011. One of the key challenges for many small businesses is being able to work remotely, whether that's remote administration, connecting to office desktops to run specific applications, or simply accessing documents. The remote access features in SBS 2003 have provided far greater remote access capabilities than many small businesses typically enjoy, but there are limitations. Sometimes workstation naming conventions are not very clear and it can be confusing for users to connect to the proper computers. Also, you may only want to provide remote access to a subset of your users, but with SBS 2003 it was an all or nothing proposition, so you couldn't exclude temporary workers or interns, for example. For employees who do a great deal of their work out of the office, Outlook Web Access provides a convenient way to check email, calendar, and contact information, but many people find that the experience is quite limited when compared to the normal Outlook 2010 client. Companies could also benefit from being able to easily create and share a list of websites that are relevant for the business functions, which is not easy to do with SBS 2003 and Windows XP clients. Let's take a look at how Windows 7 Professional and Windows Small Business Server 2011 work better together to solve some of these common challenges. With the newly refreshed Remote Web Access, administrators now have the ability to grant remote access capabilities to only those users who need it. They can also identify specific computers that each user is able to connect to and even make the user's own computer the default when they're connecting. In the same way, you can easily grant or deny access to the company SharePoint site and Outlook Web Access. For email, the Outlook Web App interface provided by Exchange Server 2010 is far more robust and functional, providing users with an experience that is very similar to using the Outlook client application in Office 2010, which helps them be a lot more productive. For users with laptops who work remotely, SBS automatically configures Outlook anywhere, which removes the need to establish VPN connections just to get email and calendar updates. Access to shared folders on the server is also a whole lot easier now with SBS 2011 and Windows 7 Professional. For example, you can access shared folders and document libraries through Outlook Web Access, and you can also browse shared folders right from within Remote Web Access without needing a VPN. With the premium add-on, you can use the remote desktop features to deliver centrally managed applications or even entire desktops to virtually anywhere that your users have an internet connection by publishing it through Remote Web Access. Let's take a look at some of these features in action. The Remote Web Access in Small Business Server 2011 gives your Windows 7 professional client computers unprecedented remote access to the company environment. Administrators have the ability to connect to the server to perform remote administration. They also have access to a number of administration links which can be customized for each organization. Let's take a look at how we can control access to remote web access. Users and administrators can connect to the SBS environment from virtually anywhere they have an internet connection. Once connected to the server or any other computer in the SBS environment, users and administrators can work on those computers as if they were sitting right in front of them. Let's take a look at how we can control access to RWA from the user's perspective. For each user, you can determine whether or not you want to provide access to remote web access. You can also identify the computers that they can connect to remotely. In this case, Jeff can access his PC, and since it's the only one he has privileges for, that will be his default connection when he uses RWA. Of course, there are other websites, including the Company Web Internal SharePoint site, as well as Outlook Web Access, and we can control access to each of these services individually. You can also perform this type of administration from the perspective of the website itself by simply going to the Website subtab, selecting the website that you're interested in, and viewing its properties. From here, we can set the permissions for each individual user. For RWA, we're also able to customize the home page links that users see as well as perform further customization, including setting a background image and an organizational logo, which can really help personalize the RWA experience. 
When we sign in as a regular user, we have a similar set of options without the administration links. But it's still very easy to check our email, access the internal website, and a new feature introduced in SBS 2011 is direct access to the shared folders in the environment. From here we can navigate through the folder structure in a very similar way to using Windows Explorer. We have access to all our files and folders and perform typical file operations that we would expect. Combined with the power and flexibility of Windows 7 professional client computers, remote web access in SBS 2011 gives users and administrators the ability to work from wherever they want, whenever they want. To learn more about the Better Together features of Windows Small Business Server 2011 Standard and Windows 7 Professional, visit our product homepage, join our Facebook community, and find a partner on Microsoft's Pinpoint site.